I'm gonna take my key, which has lo unlock and lock, hold it to open the trunk. Obviously you can do your panic button or whatever. These two buttons is what I want you to focus on. There's parking in front and, and in back. So when you're not in the vehicle, if you wanna get into a really tight space, all you have to do is hold down this button and the car is gonna move by itself. This is for when you're in a, when you're at the mall and you know you can't fit in that parking spot, but it's the last one because it's Black Friday and you're like, I can't do it. Like, I can't fit in there. You get out the car, park it right in front of there, and then you get out and then it you can go either forward or backwards with just the key. Um, and look, and I don't know if you can see right now the headlights on. So also, if you stand, let's say I, I want it to come forward again, right? I want it to come to me. As soon as it comes to me, I'm gonna still I'm gonna hold this button down the whole time. Sorry, I got scared because I took took it off. Once it sees me, it's gonna stop. See, it just stop right now. My thing is still holding it. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, your boy Darius. In this video. It's long overdue. It is for the girls. Finally, again, we have a video for the girls. Um, there's a lot going on, and I think I need to explain everything before we get started. So first of all, you can't see me because of the wheel. I'm so sorry about that. This is going to be my car video. I'm in this sweater, and it's hot. I didn't... Is it hot? It's a little brisk, but... Um, but in the car it's not and i'm trying to turn the air off so you can hear me but basically this video is going to be a car video you're finally getting one i know it's been 100 years and a week and a half and a million months and i know and i get it i get it i get it so let me do some prefacing before we get into this video i'm going to give you a car tour um right now you don't know what it is should i have it in the should i have it in the thumbnail like i did before where like i kind of blurted out or should i can i do like where you just see it anyways so let me explain to you the situation if you haven't seen what happened to my Mercedes right before I gave it back to Mercedes, go watch two videos ago, I think, is when I talk about it. And it was literally the mo one of the most tra traumatic experiences that's ever happened to me to date. Um, and literally one of the most, like, worst timing incidences that's ever happened to me, ever. So, basically, if you haven't, if you don't know that story, you should go there and watch that because it's very interesting. And that'll kind of give you a precursor of what is now. I was actually in this car when I filmed that video. Um, so... If you didn't know, two years ago, I got a Mercedes and it was the first car that I ever had in my name and I was paying like uh, monthly um, payments on. Every other car before him, my parents had bought me flat out, like just bought me a car, like a used car. And then I was just, there was no payments is what I'm trying to say. Um, I got a Mercedes. I was leasing it for two years. It was an A220 2020 I actually don't even remember what the car was what year it was but whatever I know it was 2020 or 2021 one of the two um and the point is, is that I was leasing the car I was already anticipating giving it back during this time which because I got it around this time two years ago right so I was already anticipating getting it back whatever you can find out what happened to the actual car literally like a week before I was supposed to turn it in but whatever so this is my first time I'm actually ever buying a car so I don't like that you can't see my mouth this is my first time ever buying a car, which is is similar but different. Like I, I mean, to me, my, when I when I got the Mercedes, I didn't even know the difference really between buying and leasing. Like I knew you gave it back during a lease, but like I didn't know like really, whatever. But essentially, you're still paying monthly payments and whatever. You're just giving the car back. It's almost like what I do with my phones, where like you know you pay half off and then you give it back and you get a new phone. Blah 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 blah. This car I'm buying, and the reason why I'm buying it is because. I think, well, I think, well, first of all, it's cheaper to, to buy a car than to lease it, um, like monthly rather, but, um, this car just very much has everything and I'm, and, and okay, I want to preface this too. I really want you to know this is from a Darius, um, growing up and now being 22 years old and seeing where my, my money goes and like what I value in the things that I buy and, in, and invest in. Right. So I swear I'm a. <laughs> when I invest in, you know. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> let me just explain. So basically, the car that I'm in right now is the same or like, not the same exact, but like 
I think like 2,000 more than what the Mercedes was. Just like flat out, right? And I'll tell you the prices and everything. Well, I don't really need to have all the numbers, but I'll give you estimates. Whatever, right? But I get so much more with this car than I did with the... First of all, this is a, a precursor. A precursor. I want you to listen right now. I want to see if you hear anything. Now, actually, I can hear things in real life, and I don't know if you can hear them on the camera because of the, the microphone, but if you can't hear anything, that's because it's, I'm, I'm, it's giving electric right now. It's giving electric. Um, there's no, the engine's not on. Um, the car is on. I could drive right now. Watch. Actually, no, because then I just can't do it. Whatever. I just, just trust me. Just trust me. I could drive right now. Um... When you're going, let me just start from the beginning. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna stop this. This is gonna. Uh, I feel like this is gonna end up being a lot of editing. You guys know how I am. Um, I'm gonna have to stitch all these things together, but it's fine. It's fine as long as I don't make any mistakes. Whatever. So let's. Should we do the outside of the first? We have to do the outside first. So I'm gonna start with the. You're gonna be gagged. You're gonna be gagged when you see all the things that come with it. All right. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna show you. Danger! I got off the car. Oh no, ma'am! I got off the car. So my alarm is going off. Now let me tell you something. I need a preface. First of all, I'm always talking about a preface. A preface. You know, I don't know. How I say it. Whatever. Everyone, listen up. I hope you can hear me. There's a lot of wind. I am at like this kind of like place where there's like a Home Depot and Target and stuff. But they they like overdid it. They swore they were gonna have all these like like people coming and trying. To, let me. I don't know if you can see this. Look at this parking lot right here. There's one car in this parking lot. And this goes all the way down. There's one car where I'm at. The main parking is like, the buildings are all the way over there. Anyways, the point is, is that I'm, I'm over here out in the open. Everyone's watching me do this video. Like, it's not like I'm next to cars and I'm just like on my phone. No, I'm by myself. So people who are going by are like, what is he doing? Because no one ever parks here. I'm surprised that car is even over there. Anyways, okay, so listen up. I don't know how to show you the back without having to... Uh, you guys know my videos are insane. Anyways, I want to show you the back of the car, but I was showing my license, and you know, I don't want to go out back and blur it and all this other stuff. What I'm about to do is see if I can, like, uh, you know, see if I can maybe, like, uh, nope, I can't. All right, I'll be right back. So, I hope that you can see, still hear me, rather. What I got was, I don't know if here's a little hint, I got a Hyundai Tucson 2022 Limited Trim. And it's a hybrid. I know that's a, a very long full name. I don't even know. I don't want to back out so you can see. Um, yep. And, and what I want to show you in the back is that this bar light goes across the whole thing. You know what? I'm just going to show you and figure it out later. I'm, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. So I'm going to blur this out. I'm going to figure out a way. Whatever. But anyways, this is the back of the car. It's giving very... Um, aggressive. If you guys saw, or if you guys know what the Hyundai Tucson looks like, looked like, like in previous years, you'll definitely see it. Like if you see anybody with Tucson on the back, it's a Hyundai Tucson. Um, and I also think that it's iconic that I live in Tucson, and I got a Hyundai Tucson, and that the Tucson is iconic, and there's a reason why I got it. But one of the, the main features that I like is that at nighttime, like this is the whole bar, um, not or it's, it's a brake light, but whatever. Um, Another thing, that's just the back. That's not the main thing. So this is what the car looks like on the back. back. The features are what I, what I really like about the inside. So it's, I think it's a hatchback, um, like compact SUV is what they call it. This is where the magic happens. And I think the grill is actually so iconic. Um, when you guys see this, first of all, look at this grill. Oh my God, I'm looking crazy doing this video and I was looking at me. Um, and right now it doesn't look iconic because you're like, okay, it's just a grill. But... The, the headlights are into the, the daytime running lights are integrated into the grill. I feel like I could work at Hyundai. They're integrated into the grill. So at nighttime, all of these, oops, all of these right here light up. And this part, it looks like it's a part of the grill. So in the daytime, you can't really tell. But then it, it sh at nighttime, you'll see this part and this part will be the lights. And these are like the actual headlights, but these are the daytime running lights. And it looks so cool. Like you can tell it's a brand new Tucson or like one of the remodeled ones because of this new redesigned grill. And that was the first thing that I saw. I really hope you guys can hear me with all this wind. That was the first thing that I saw when I, um, when I was looking on the commercial, when they went, I, I saw a commercial and I was like, wow, they ate. And then I found out that features ate too. And you guys are about to be gagged when you see everything that it does. So let's head to the inside. 
Okay, I'm back in the car right now, and I just realized that not mm, actually I didn't just realize this. I've been known. I am literally the worst YouTuber ever, and I just feel like the wind is blowing. I got no mic. Um, it's giving very bootleg, but I did want to say something before I show you the interior of this car. So, one thing that I found out and I learned, and not that I didn't know this necessarily before, but I didn't really act on it. If you are my age or you're older or whatever and you're buying your first car, what I did wrong, not necessarily wrong, I, I don't regret getting the Mercedes at all, right? The The thing was is that for me, everyone liked the Mercedes because it was Mercedes. And that's the name that you're going to get from buying a luxury vehicle. It's going to be like, oh... Um, oh, wow, you drive a Mercedes, whatever. It's just the name, right? So I was paying around, or the car was worth like early 40s, $40,000, right? It's a sedan, but $40,000 at Mercedes is very different than $40,000 at Hyundai, right? So because you're not buying a luxury brand vehicle anymore now, all of your money is, you get a lot more bang for your buck. And Again, I don't regret having the Mercedes, but now that I realize what I could have had all these t this time with the same amount of money, I'm realizing that, you know, there's like give and take. Obviously, this is not a Mercedes though, right? But let me explain to you all the features that I get and I'll tell you everything basically that I'm about to say my Mercedes did not have. So let's get, let's begin, shall we? So first of all, um, very like base. this has got a, a lot of this is going to be basic stuff. Um, and then some of it's going to be cool. So I got the limited trim of the Hyundai Tucson. This is 2022. The, the limited trim is the highest trim that you can get. Okay. But there are three different types of Hyundai Tucsons. There's a Hyundai Tucson engine, regular engine. And there's a Hyundai Tucson hybrid. And there's a Hyundai Tucson plug-in hybrid. A plug-in hybrid is exactly what the name is. You plug it in. Um, and you get like X amount of miles. I think it's like under 50 or something miles of total electric range. I didn't get that one. I got the middle one. I got the hybrid, but no plug-in. So therefore, it just recharges the electric battery when I'm braking and when I'm slowing down and stuff like that, right? So of the uh, Hyundai Tucson hybrid, 2022 limited trim, um, these are all the features that you get. So... Um, basically the regular regular normal like seat adjustment electric it's not like the the bar thing or anything right let me show you the door um actually we're gonna turn the camera around now that we're in a car we're in the car and you can hear me perfectly fine we're gonna turn the camera around so you can see everything also i've had this i've had this car for like a month or so now so it's a little dirty somewhere i try to get it detailed but whatever so this is the steering wheel um which i can't move right now because i haven't turned it on let me actually turn it on and show you so it's the push to start so the thing that I love, this is, and I, I'm going to see, okay, you guys see that right there where it says ready to drive on the thing. So, and this is iconic actually. Um, the car is on right now because it's a hybrid and I'm sure this is not like a new to anybody at all, but this is a hybrid. So therefore sometimes it will be in all electric mode. If you see that EV right there, it's kind of like blurry. If you see that EV right there, that means electric mode right now. So it is, the car is ready to drive. As soon as I put this, it's a push to push shift. As soon as I put this in drive, it's ready to go. So, um, and I love that it's just so silent, okay? So, the one thing that I really loved about this car, and the reason, one of the reasons why I got it, was because it has, if you can't see, oh my gosh, this camera looks great. I'm gonna have to wipe this off. I'm so sorry. This is what I mean by bootleg. This, and there's some crust in the, oh my goodness. Um, this is what I mean by bootleg. There's a little bit of crust in there. I think I left my, my drink in there. A brand new car, and I'm already acting a fool. So, heated or no sorry this is cool so it has ventilated seats and heated seats heated steering wheel this is like your downhill parking parking assist which i'll show you in a second which is actually iconic um these are the parking cameras and then also the passenger gets heated seats and cooled seats which i think is i think that having ventilated seats is just such a like a luxury thing right so infotainment center i love this the screen um i just think that it's iconic um oops Normally, I would have my Apple CarPlay on there, but I'm filming on my phone right now. The only downside that I've had with this car that I think that anybody that I... when I, I did a lot of research. One thing about me is when I'm, when I'm making a big investment, a big purchase, I will literally, like, watch videos about it on YouTube until... until Oh, my God. I don't like that you can still see me in the back. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I don't like that you can see me in the background. Anyways, I'll, I'll watch videos on YouTube until, like, I know every single... I know more than the car dealer about it. Or, like, I know more about the product than the person that's trying to sell it, right? So, the one thing that I saw a lot was that people didn't like this. First of all, Piano Black, this, like, texture of this thing, people hate so much. Um, and I think I don't like it too. Like, obviously, like, look all the, the, the hairs and stuff on it and the lint and everything. That's what happens with Piano Black. Whatever. Anyways, the thing that I don't like is that everything down here is touch controls. So all the air conditioning is all touch controls. Um, you know, which is kind of annoying while you're driving. If you want to, like, turn up the volume, you got to press this button and whatever and whatnot, right? The thing, one thing that is iconic about the air conditioning thing is something that I haven't seen in any other cars really at all um, in this, like, price level or I don't even know if a Hyundai like started this or not, you'd have to let me know, but it's called Diffuse. So this is actually iconic, and let me explain. So Diffuse is, I don't know if you can see, but there's all these tiny holes around the front of the vehicle and it goes all the way around, right? And what that does is it takes the air that comes out of the vents and it disperses it around the car throughout all of these little tiny holes. And the reason why it does that is so that it feels like your car is being air conditioned while you're just sitting in a room. It's like, it's not blasting out the vents anymore. It's now quietly like diffusing it around the car, of the car, not quietly. I meant more like evenly dispersing it throughout the car so that it's not blasting out through the, the vents does that make sense it's like now just like around everywhere so that the car just feels like it's the right temperature without it blasting out the vents and making you too cold or too hot too quickly if that makes sense so that's a cool thing about the um the air conditioning system everything else is literally complete completely normal i don't really have to go through any of this because i'm sure you guys know um you know inside the car outside the car like obviously different controls you can sync it another thing that hyundai is really big on is like energy energy conservation so with this this is um a driver only mode so that means i can do i can do driver only mode with air conditioning and with music so if i really wanted to like really save my power which is not that serious but if i really really wanted to save my gas my power i could do driver only mode and it'll only air condition my side so this vent sorry this vent is completely off this vent is on and everything over here is on, right? So it'll only air condition me, only my um, my music will be on. That's only if I turn that on in the settings, but um, like only the speakers around me will be on, which I think will be really crazy and insane, but whatever. Um, what else? So obviously the steering wheel controls, very normal, voice assistant. Um, this is how you change like the thing up there. Um, I'll get to this part in a, in a second. Um, volume controls, next song, calling, favorites, whatever, right? Very self-explanatory. So another thing about this car that I really liked was that on the highway, it virtually like drives itself. And what I mean by that is that because it has all of these features on it that a lot of cars have, in combination with the, the three things that I'm about to say, it you 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 know, it's not like a Tesla where it takes you to your destination, but it is like, you know, like a lot of more like top of the line luxury cars have all of these things where it has lane keep assist, okay, which is this one, um, which you can also use not on the highway. So this also works not on the highway, not really a lot with like turns and stuff, but like on the highway where it works with like curves in the in the in the highway and stuff or whatever so basically it keeps its lane keeps assist so it keeps in the middle of the lane it will also turn the steering wheel like i said this button does the adaptive cruise control so when you turn on cruise control like most cars have it will also measure how the distance between the you and the car in front of you and you can change the level of how fast you want it to break so you can change it to be like you know 10 feet you know, 20 feet, 30 feet or whatever. Right. And then you can change it to, um, to, to stop at a certain distance. So adaptive cruise control, which a lot of cars have also, um, I don't know why they have these paddle shifters, which I'm never going to use standard lights, you know, windshield wiper, whatever. I love the detailing on it. Like the, um, I don't even know how to explain what this is, whatever you can see, um, memory seating on the driver's side only. Um, Power windows. One thing I didn't know that, um, from the videos. Look at all this this fingerprint on this fingerprint grease. The power windows um, are only in the front, which I don't like because in, on the Mercedes, there are things that the Mercedes did have that I do miss, and this is one of them. The back windows don't have um, like one click where they come all the way down. Does that make sense? So these are just like I click it once and the whole thing comes down. But this one, the, the back ones, I have to go all the way down, which I'm really not controlling the back windows all that often. But whatever. 
obviously you can change the um re the side view mirrors whatever um nothing is abnormal or nothing else on this this side um another thing that i really needed in my car coming from the mercedes and just in general i think i'm gonna need in every single car that i ever have is the top of the line premium audio system so if you can see um it's bose the the audio system i think is very good in here it definitely is better than what the mercedes was um the this mercedes i think was bang and Olfenson, but whatever anyways okay so down here we have a regular car charging port port along with two usb a things this one is for the apple carplay and this one's for like regular charging i really just do not understand why it is 2022 and we don't have usb c like things in cars and stuff like even my mom's bentley doesn't have that which i think is outrageous but also not everyone has like usb c like appliance i mean not uh, appliances but cords and stuff i guess i don't know driver mode let's change the driver mode so we have snow smart which like basically will change it based off of what it thinks you want um and then we have sport and eco so i'm never on eco actually i should be on eco i should have changed it to eco when i did that road trip but i think i was just on was that on smart or not might have been on eco i think i was on eco anyways so it get, it has about 425 400 and to around a 430 i think mile i actually don't know what it is i think it's 425 miles on a full tank um right now it says it gives you the actual average of what it thinks right now 29.7 about, about of the miles per gallon that you're getting but um i know online it it's it is advertised that around like 38 highway 38 city which is very good because this is a hybrid which is another thing so now i want you now to put this in perspective so I'm, i have a really nice hybrid vehicle i don't pay a lot for gas because it's regular gas 38 miles per gallon is what it says and it, it usually stays around 32 to 35 um, but it, sometimes it goes lower and sometimes it goes higher, whatever, right? So it goes around 32 to 35 miles per gallon. Um, anything really under 20 miles an hour, for the most part, I'm doing in electric mode, so I'm not using any gas. Um, uh, heated and cooling seat seats, plus a premium sound system and a nice infotainment center. Um, and the, the diffuse thing I really like. And the passenger seat also gets the heated and cool seats. There is ambient lighting, so you can't really tell, but there's red right now. That's what that's, that's that light that you see up there. There's red. It's also in the cup holders down here, and I think it's under the seat, I think. Or I might be lying about that one. I actually don't know. Um, two cup holders here, parking brake, auto hold. I think that I had auto hold on my Mercedes, but I never used it, but I use it all the time now. This basically means that when I'm driving, if I ever come to a stop, a complete stop with my brake, I can let my foot off the brake and it'll still stay stop. Like it'll still stay in the same place. So I can drive, be at a, a, a red light, press the, the brake all the way into the floor one time, and then that's it. Um, I did have it with my Mercedes, but I had to press like really hard on the, the brake. But this one, as long as you just come to a stop, it'll stop for you. Um, what else? So obviously the garage controls. I don't really have a garage right now. Not even, I don't really, I just don't have a garage. So um, the garage controls in there. Um, another thing that I really liked was this panoramic. Oh, I'm going to jail for this. <laughs> I'm going to jail for this YouTube video. I can't. This is just, oh, you're going, oh my God. And they clicked off. I can't. Let me show you. I'm over here. If y'all can only see what I look like trying to show this, this, this angle. When real, if I was a professional cameraman, I would have it. I would be all in the angles. Now look how far back this goes. This goes all the way back to the back of the seat. Um, and this literally has everything. So first of all, it's a sun and moon roof. It's going to try to open this and I don't want it to, but no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, now I was trying to close it back again. I didn't, I didn't say all of that. Whatever. You guys get the gist. It's also a moon roof back there that doesn't open up, but it would normally show you everything. This thing, this thing right here goes all the way back, obviously. Um, and we are now going to get into the back seat so I can see, show, <laughs> so I can show you guys what's back there. First thing I want to show, ooh, look at my computer. First thing I want to show is that I care about my back, pass, back my back seat passengers. They get heated seats, which I still to this day think is iconic. Hyundai is always like I know I know people with Hyundai's and they always had um, heated seats in the back, which I think is a, such a cool feature because I up until date I've only seen a Tesla have it in the back seat, um, but the the two side seats have heated seats. Um, this has this car has the biggest 
um, cabin space of any car in its class. So you can be literally like 6'1" and sit behind your driver position and still have like six inches of leg room. It is so roomy and spacious back here. So it's perfect for like road trips and stuff. Uh, look at me selling this car. Um, it's perfect for like road trips and everything. Look at all my friends getting their knees on my seat. I can't. Anyways, whatever. They got this scratching at the door. I can't do it. Anyways, um, my favorite part about the back seat is the heated seats plus the fact that it reclines so much. So I don't know if you can tell that this one, this person over there is literally like so far back normally i don't even know how to show you normally normally it would be like obviously like right not straight up but maybe a little reclined but you can recline so far in this back seat let me show you Ooh. so this is it in the first lock position so let me step back this is it in the first lock position and i'm now about to push it to be all the way back one second Oy. So this is all the way back. So it's even farther than, than what that one was. So you have so much like room to like sit down and like, let me actually get in. Don't look at my Popeye's cup. And like be comfortable. I don't know if you can see, like you can literally like fully lay back and my feet are like, my legs are like almost all the way under the, the seat. Ooh, I'm a, I, ain't, I ain't been back here, but my friends are going to prison. What is this? What? It, Dang, what they do is they, is they kicking it? I just want to know what they doing back here, bro. I can't. Anyways, they ain't getting my car again. Um, reading likes for all the passengers, just in case you need them. Um, what if somebody jumped in my front seat right now and took me away? Greedy. Um, oof. Not this ulcer on my seat. Um, What is going on? Uh, anyways, whatever. So I love how you can recline. Something that Hyundai, like, does is like think of things i said something that hundred does look at this i think they ate this now if you don't want the seat you never you ever like think that the seat belt is just in the way like dang, get, get, out, get out the way you ever thought that well what you do is you take it and you go oh that's not what you do i'm so sorry i'm embarrassed i can't and you go doop and so the seat belts have a holder when you're not using them if you want to like I don't know, put the seats down. Like, this is for if you want to put the seats down. You want to put, like, cargo and stuff in your bag. Why well, do I feel like it's so zoomed in? Whatever. If you want to put all the seats down, you want to have cargo and stuff like that, this will, like, keep the seat belts out the way so that you don't have to, like, worry about the seat, like, be, like getting trapped in the seat and whatnot. Whatever. Um, cup holders in the back. Again, like I said, Bose speakers. Um, the back passengers get their own vents, and they also get... Um, their own usb things um honestly i'm being so serious if you're in the market i know no one is like watching my are they watching my video for that if if you're in the most people are just watching this just to keep up on the kind of car i have but if you are in the market actually for a compact suv i'm not joking this is literally the best one to get it's the the nicest design for the price range of like if you're looking for forty thousand dollar cars I would not get any of the Toyotas. I wouldn't get any of the anything else that's in this price range. Like this to me is the best one. Um, the people were the only rival that this has is the RAV4, and I think the RAV4s are so ugly. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. I think they're so ugly. Whatever. Anyways, um, Toyota never actually needed any of that. But USB A again back here. I really wish it was USB C. Um, super bit like a lot of leg room, like I said. Panoramic sunroof, heated seats for the back passengers, recline for the back passengers. Like, I just feel like this is giving like um, the most luxury experience I could have gotten somewhere else. So another thing, and a lot of you might might not like this. I don't, I'm still trying to figure out if I like it or not. When you turn the car off, um, first should I turn it on? Actually, let me just do it. When you turn the car off and you're standing behind the car, it's automatic. It will automatically open up the. Um, the back tailgate so if you stand back here with the car locked and you have the key on you and you're coming out the grocery store let's say and you have a cart right here it'll beep three or four times and then it'll automatically open this gate so you can turn that off obviously because sometimes maybe you're just you just want to be behind your car and not actually you know try to open the gate whatever so from the back i can close i can down all the seats from the back which i think is iconic um, they don't go all the way down. You gotta go press them. But this is a lot of space. I don't. I can't give you the specs of like how many cubic feet or whatever. Whatever. But it has a lot of space. Blue Link is the app that you go on to basically like 
control everything. So one thing, again, I did not like about the Mercedes was so annoying is that you could only start and stop the car with the app that I had. Um, you could only stop, start and stop the car, I think. Yeah. All right. And you could unlock and lock the car. And it would tell you if your doors were unlocked so you can lock them. And it would also tell you like if you had a window down or something like that. Girl, you guys should have seen my hair. I actually, for whatever reason, I insist on doing a video where my hair is looking the worst it could possibly look. Like if you guys saw me two weeks ago when I got my hair done, I'm just letting everyone know a little sneaky. And you can kind of still tell my hair was like curled. Like I curled it. Like it was curled and I was giving and I was serving a look, but I won't, I'll, uh, you'll have to see it in person, not in person, but you'll have to see it on the next video if I, if I do it again. But anyways, basically, um, oh, you know, I lost my train of thought. This is why people don't watch my video. <laughs> I lost my train of thought and this is why I need someone here to help me. But, um, what I was talking about was, let me look around and see if I get any hints. Uh, and I know you guys remember. And the more I think about it, the more I don't remember. So I'm going to have to see if it comes back to me. This is actually so annoying. I'm over talking about my hair and then I forget about things. Oh, the app. I could not own, I couldn't do anything else on the Mercedes app. But with the Hyundai app, I can do literally everything. I can control, I can turn it on and off. I can unlock and lock the doors. I can, um, what I really wanted to do in the Mercedes, which I couldn't do, is control the climate settings. So I can turn on some of the heated seats, all the heated seats. I can turn on the air conditioning to a certain temperature. And what I really like is that there's presets. So if I really want to wake up in the morning and not right, have to worry about it, let's say like, which this doesn't, this rarely happens, but let's say I had to wake up at like six in the morning and it's freezing outside. What I would do is I would wake up and I would put it on, I would just tap my winter preset and everything that I put under that preset would automatically start. So it'll be like the door is locked, the front two seats have their heated seats on and so do the back ones. The temperature is set to 78 degrees and it's blasting at this like, temp I mean, at this like, velo not velocity, what am I trying to say? At this power, whatever. Um, and then it'll stay on so that when I get in the car, all of the presets that I have, you can do a summer preset. You can do any, you can name it anything you want to or whatever. So it's automatic and you can just say, okay, this is what I want it to, to feel like when I get in the car. Um, now let's go into the actual infotainment center. I think this is going to be last. Um, this is what it normally looks like. This, I'm usually have it on Apple CarPlay, so I'm not really ever using a lot of this stuff. So forgive me if I don't really know what, I'm about to find out with, with you what this stuff is. So hybrid, I think just shows you your energy consumption, I'm assuming. Yeah, right now it's 29.7 miles per gallon. It tells me how many, how much electric uh, motor use I'm having. And I think this is like an, an actual like moving thing. When you actually drive the car, it'll show you like the energy flowing into the battery and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to go through everything. Maps, explanatory, navigation menus where you like use the Hyundai maps, which do update um, automatically. Which I swear that things before used to be so... I think even the Mercedes that I had, they were talking about some, oh, you need to get to buy the CD. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. This is 2022. Anyways, phone phone projection. This is where you would have your Apple Apple CarPlay. You can make voice memos in here. And I, they tried it. Like, they, I, they, I don't know. They very much thought that people were giving, like... I don't know. Are people doing that where, like, they have to get a voice memo out in their car? Like, oh, my God, I just thought of this. Let's try one right now and see what it sounds like. I'm scared. Use voice memo. All oh, right. Okay. 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 I'm scared. Okay. I'm scared. Hey, what y'all doing? Um, what I was, I, remember to go get the turkey and the greens and the, and the, and the green eggs and ham for Thanksgiving. Okay. It's saved. So now it says Tucson 436 PM and now I'm about to play it. Hey, what y'all doing? Um, what I was, I, remember to go get the turkey and the greens and the, and, the, and the green eggs and ham for Thanksgiving. Hmm. Have you guys ever recorded something underwater? Um, <laughs> cause that's what it's down to like. I'm assuming it's just using the, like the car, like the speakers. I mean, the car microphones, they don't have to be that good. Cause you're using like voice, um, like. What is it called? Voice recognition or whatever. But I think that's just a weird, crazy feature that you can do. I don't know why they had that. I should delete it, though. How do I delete it? 
You know what? Forget it. I guess it's gonna be in there forever. Hey, oh my! Oh my goodness! Um, oh my gosh! If that plays one time with my friends in here, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. I need them to get rid of this. Hey. I don't know how to do it. Anyways, whatever. Climate, obviously, valet mode is like, basically, it won't, it'll, it won't, like, the car won't drive more than five miles or something, something like that, where, like, it's, like, so that you, you know, the person at the valet doesn't, like, take your car and, like, leave. Um, quiet mode, I forgot what this is. When quiet mode is selected, radio media will be played only in the front seats. All volume above seven will decrease to seven automatically. See, like, it's just stuff like this they thought of that you can just click, which I'm probably not going to use because I don't really need care about quiet mode, but... I don't care about the radio either. Set up, it says all my stuff in there. Media, blue link is the thing I'm talking about. Notifications and user manual. Now, there's one last thing that I want to show you guys, which is extremely iconic, and you're about to find out right now. Actually, let's do it right now. Let me put my bag on. Oh, bear with me here. What you're going to do when you get, get when you get done with your car, when you get done and you're about to get out, let me make sure I have everything that I need. Oh, where's my key at? Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to go down here. And you see this button right here that's glow glowing up or glowing up glowed right now glowing can i there we go sometimes this phone has issues um focusing i'm gonna hold it down like this very embarrassed that's not the one it's this one right here i'm gonna hold it down like this so what you're about to see is something that only iconic people can participate in only the iconic people right so the car is still on I want everyone to know the car is still on. I'm about to shut the door. I have the key with me. It just locked the door, right? But the car is still on. Okay. I'm gonna take my key, which has unlock and lock. Hold it to open the trunk. Obviously, you can do your panic button or whatever. These two buttons, what I want you to focus on. There's parking in front and in back. So when you're not in the vehicle, if you want to get into a really tight space, all you have to do is hold down this button and the car is going to move by itself. This is for when you're in a, when you're at the mall and you know you can't fit in that parking spot, but it's the last one because it's Black Friday and you're like, I can't do it. Like, I can't fit in there. You get out the car, park it right in front of there, and then you get out and then it you can go either forward or backwards with just the key. Um, and look, and I don't know if you can see right now the headlights on. So, also, if you stand, let's say I, I want it to come forward again, right? I want it to come to me. As soon as it comes to me, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna hold this button down the whole time. Sorry, I got scared because I took it off. Once it sees me, it's gonna stop. See, it just stopped right now. My thing is still holding it. It sees that I'm in front of it. So it's safe for pedestrians, so just in case you can't see very well, whatever. Another thing that it does, so it'll, it'll also turn off the car. So once you get once you get finished with it and you lock the door, oh my god, that scared me. Did you guys see the this is move that was just moving by itself? Um, if you guys are in the car or outside the car and you did what I just did and I, then you want to go back in the store, all you press is the lock button and it'll turn off the engine and lock all the doors. Another thing is that it'll it'll also do it if you're coming out. Like let's say you want to come out, all you have to do is do the remote start, which is um holding down this one right here you hold it down it'll turn on the car it'll be silent it's kind of hard because it's not like gonna it's not like most cars where it actually starts the engine because it's on electric mode when it turns on most most every time so you turn it on you see the lights come on that means it's on and then you're ready to do the um forward and back thing which i think is a pretty cool thing i thought at first i wasn't going to use it and my friends were trying to clown me being like it's a cool feature but it's like gimmicky and i've used it like literally four or five times since i've gotten it and i've only had this car for like a month I feel like there's so many spots that you have where it's just like, oh my gosh, it's so tight. Like, I can't drive into that and get out. So that's the point. It's the point is for you to be able to get into a parking spot and not have to, like, get out, like, because there's a car next to it. So you get out the car first and then just roll it in there and lock the doors and it turns off. Um, and I use it way more than I think thought that I was going to. Um... I think that there's actually nothing else, and now I'm embarrassed. Like I don't know what to say. I feel like you guys got all the things, all the all the the memos and stuff. Um, I know this video is not going to do well. No one cares about this anymore. Um, but yeah, I think that you know, push comes to shove, this was a really good investment and a good choice that I that I made um, to purchase. Like I'm. I've done this with a couple other things where like I literally made sure I went through everything, like all of the cost benefit, like of like 
you know, is this the best bang for my buck or whatever? And I honestly feel like with all the features that I got in this for the same price that I was paying for the Mercedes, I'm telling you, the Mercedes had none of this. Oh, it also has one thing before I end. It has the um, the keyless entry. So I can just put my hand in the handle and it'll open up if I have the key on me. Um, but the thing that I, there's two things that the Mercedes had that this doesn't have which is, is the keyless entry on the Mercedes worked on all four doors, which meant that I could go to any door at any time and just open the door if I had the key on me. But with this car, it's only the front two doors and the back two doors don't have it. And that's very annoying. I, I noticed that very quickly. Another thing is the power windows. The power windows only work for the first, not the power windows, I'm sorry. They're all power windows, but the one click push down to open all the windows only works in the front two windows. They don't have it in the back to the back two windows which i i don't understand like is it that much of a cost difference to put that in the back two is it that serious like it's literally just the pushing the button down like i don't get it i don't know if that's like a thing where there's like oh like we want to make we want to separate the premium stuff from like the non-premium so we like took that off or if it's more of a actually this costs a lot more money so that's why you're paying more i don't know but whatever anyways other than that every single thing the ventilated seats the heat i didn't have any heated seats in my mercedes at all front or back the infotainment center, the um, the the lane keep assist, the the uh, adaptive cruise control, the headlights being integrated into the thing, the power trunk that I have, the um, what else is it? The reclined seats in the back, like all of that, like all the amount of cargo I get in this, the panoramic sunroof, all of it for the same exact price. I feel like now that I'm I'm just getting older and I'm realizing that. You know, not everything has to be flat. Oh, one day I will be flashy. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. But I'm saying for right now, you I don't need to have, I need something that's practical. I need something that's practical. Yeah, one day I will, hopefully, one day I'll be able to afford to get nicer things that are more luxury and luxury brands and stuff like that. But right now I don't need a Mercedes sedan for 40000 That gives me none of these features when I could have this that I'm very, very happy with. I literally have no, well, so far it's been like five, or five weeks or so or whatever, how much it's been. Um, I have no complaints with this car at all. No complaints at all, um, except for the, the, the fact that there's no actual volume knob or whatever, or power button that's like physical. Um, other than that, like I just feel like everything else in this car is everything that I wanted. Um, and it's just so practical. I can put the seats down if I need to. And my passengers are always comfortable. Like, um with like the leg room and everything. So I don't know um, if you're buying a car right now, which half of you, I mean, most of you are not. And most of you just like, just like, you know, in the video, just like trying to figure out what kind of car I have. Oh my God, the Bose speakers. Sorry, I just think that it ate, whatever. Let me know what you think of the car, if you like it or not. I really want to see if I can get a nighttime shot of the headlights. And if I do, I will put that in the clip somewhere or I'll put that in the video. I'll probably put it at the end here. Or maybe I'll start off the video with that. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want you guys to see how the headlights look at nighttime uh, because I think it looks super cool. But that is the end of this video. If you got to the end of this video, type in the comments, capital EV, just the capital EV. Um, that's what it says on my screen when it's in electric mode. But that means that you got to the end of this video. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, quick disclaimer, 2023... And I know I've been saying this a lot, but 2023 is going to be changed for a lot of a lot of reasons. I'm going to be out of school for the first time in my entire life. Isn't that crazy, you guys? I'm going to be out of I'm. This is my senior year. Do you guys do you guys realize how fast this happened? Like how fast this happened? I'm about to be a grown man that is not that is no longer in school. Like, I'm just going to be done. I'm going to get my degree and that's it. So a lot of things are going to change starting next summer. Um, I'm going to have I'm going to have a couple online classes to take in the summertime to get my degree. But after that, I won't be coming back to Tucson. I'm not like coming back here for college anymore. It's it. So I have a lot of plans of things that I want to do and if for, you know, YouTube and for my career, or whatever, in the year 2023. And that being said. A lot of things are going to change. A lot of things are going to be, I don't want to spoil anything because you guys probably know what's up, but a lot of big things are going to happen in 2023 and I need everyone to be uh, ready and, and aware. And I know that I'm known, I'm known for saying this. I'm known for saying this, but I promise you 2023, I'm not joking this time. Like, 
Uh, I feel I feel like I'm known for saying yes. Big things are coming. Big things are happening, and they never happen um, because they're always like. And then those things that I was talking about before are gonna happen too. Maybe not in 2023, but you guys will see. I'm always planning out for the future, and then like. I end up coming back to school and being busy with a whole bunch of other stuff. If you guys saw my mental health decline video, that I just had so much stuff on my plate last semester and it was a lot. But in this next semester, it's about to be iconic. Um, not next semester, sorry. When I get out of school, for you guys, it's gonna be iconic. Just like you're gonna get a brand new, a brand new. Actually, I'm not gonna say that. I don't want to like spoil anything. Whatever. You guys are gonna find out what you're gonna get. I just really want, want you guys to be to stay tuned for it because it's just gonna be like it never has been before. Um, because I have no choice now. Like it very much has to be like it never has been before. There's gonna be there's gonna have to be consistency. There's no more like, oh well, do 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 do. No, there's no do 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 do's anymore. Like this is not like I can it's YouTube's not optional for me anymore. At that point it won't be. So it, it's gonna be a lot more different things, a lot more fun things. Um a lot more frequency, um, a lot more things being said, a lot more things being done, whatever. All you need to know is that 2023 is going to be iconic, um, not in the beginning of the year, but towards the summertime. Um, and yeah, I'm done with this car video. Let me know how you like the car. If you like it, please tell me. If you hate it, let me know. Um, I guess I can't do anything about it right now. I already bought the car. Um, uh, but anyways, whatever. I'll see you guys next time with another video um and the next video you probably will see will be with my mother um or you'll see me on her channel one of the two the next time you see me it'll be it'll be like i'll be at home again because i'm going home for winter break um thanksgiving break i didn't go home because i just felt like it was stupid none of my finals are in person so why would i go home for a weekend just to come back for a week and a half and then fly all the way back to Ohio again. I feel like that's always been stupid. I don't even know why they do that. Like, we should just try to get everything in before this time because these one and a half weeks, these two weeks is so pointless for people who are like live out of state. But whatever. So I'm going home in two days and I'm not coming back even though it's so early. Like, I'm, calling, I'm going home on the 30th. So I'm not coming back um, for like all of December, which I normally would be here. Uh, but anyways, whatever. I can't end the video for the life of me. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace. Evie. Evie in the comments if you got to the end of the video. Goodbye.